Welcome to Chemistry for Dummies. I'm your host, Ian. Today, me and my colleague, Dr. Olesh, will be explaining the many aspects of chemical bonding. As you may already know, there are three types of bonding, ionic, covalent, and metallic. We're going to start off the show with ionic bonds. Ionic bonds form when one atom loses electrons to the other atom. These atoms then form a very strong and stable bond called an ionic bond. Ionic bonds always occur between a metal and a non-metal. The resulting compound is hard, brittle, is a good conductor of heat and electricity, has a high melting and boiling point, and is a crystalline solid. Some common ionic compounds are sodium fluoride, sodium bromide, and magnesium oxide. Now let's move on to the next part of our show. When two atoms which have a high electronegativity attract each other, they end up sharing electrons and they form a covalent bond. Covalent bonds occur between two nonmetals. They exist in the solid, liquid, and gaseous state. They are poor conductors of heat, soft, good insulators, and have a low melting point. Some examples of covalent substances are carbon monoxide and diphosphorus pentoxide. Now let's move on to the final segment of our show, metallic bonds. Metallic bonds consist of positive ions which are immersed in a sea of mobile electrons. These electrons belong to the entire crystal rather than to individual atoms. Metallic bonds always occur between pure metals. The resulting compound is always very strong, has luster, is malleable, and quite ductile. Metallic bonding often occurs in metals such as zinc. Now let's recap what we've learned about chemical bonds. The important things to remember about ionic bonds is that they occur between a metal and a nonmetal. The resulting compound is very stable and a good conductor of heat and electricity. And now to covalent bonds. Covalent bonds share electrons, and unlike ionic bonds, they occur only between two nonmetals. They are also poor conductors and very soft. And last are metallic bonds, which occur with metals. The positive ions are immersed in a sea of electrons, and the substance is hard and a good conductor of electricity. Join us on our next episode as we explore the mysteries of antimatter. Thanks for watching. And remember, Always drink Red Bull. It gives you wings. <laughs>